everyone, so today I am so excited. I am doing a swatch and sort of first impression video on the new Anastasia Beverly Hills lip glosses. I've already done one of these videos on their liquid lipsticks. I'll link it down below if you're interested in seeing that. I did receive these in my mailbox and I haven't even like tried them out yet. I haven't swatched any of them. So I'm just gonna swatch them and try them on for you guys and you can see my live impressions and see what I think of them. Okay, so first I'm gonna start with the nudes. I'm gonna go lightest to darkest. Doo -doo -doo. So it just comes packaged like this as well, like separately. If you just buy one off the website, this is how it'll come. Okay, so this is what the packaging looks like. It's a little less glamorous than their liquid lipsticks, which is fine. Like, it's still really nice packaging. It's really sleek, simple, black lid, got the label, and then on the bottom is the little name. So this one here is called Undressed, and let's try it on. This video is going to take me forever. There are so many colors. <laughs> oh, very pigment. Wait a second. Oh my gosh, this smells exactly like... That glass house butterscotch candle. I don't know if it's butterscotch, but you know the one that um, Peter Alexander burns? Oh my gosh, it smells just like that. So that's one thin layer. I'm going to add one more thin layer. So the texture of them, very smooth. I wouldn't call them sticky at all. I feel like they have a tiny bit of tackiness, but it's not like sticky. Like it doesn't feel uncomfortable at all. I love this colour, it's so pretty. And the smell is amazing. If you don't like super sweet kind of vanilla-y caramel kind of smells, then you will not like the smell. You can definitely smell it once it's on your lips. You will obviously get used to it after a few minutes, but yeah, if that kind of smell bothers you, then don't even go near it. By the way, this video is not sponsored or anything, and I'm not obliged to make a video for them or anything. This is my own choice to make a video, and these are my honest opinions before anyone gets shitty. <laughs> The next shade I have here is called Dainty. This looks totally up my alley. Please excuse if any of these are applied really badly. Obviously I'm kind of in a rush because this is going to take a really long time. This colour is beautiful. If you love baby pinks or nudes or pinky nudes or anything like that, you need this in your life. It is so pretty. And obviously you don't have to wear these alone like I am. You can definitely put it on top of lipstick. That's obvious. I'm just swatching them by themselves so you can see the pigmentation and the true colour. Next up we have the shade Vintage. I don't know how I feel about this one on myself. I don't feel like it suits me that well. It's just a more kind of berry tone nude. This would look amazing on darker skin tones for sure. I just feel like it's a bit meh for me. Next we have Pastel Pink and this looks exciting. It almost looks like Saint Germain by MAC except lighter. So that is pastel pink on my lips. It's kind of like a white based light pink. I don't know how I feel about it by itself as a lip gloss. I feel like it would look a lot better if you layered it on top of a different lipstick just to kind of brighten it up a bit. Next up we have Peony. This one looks really pretty. I'll list all of the colours down below as well in order. So if you want to buy some you know which is which in case you can't understand my accent. This colour is really pretty. It's like a neutral kind of pinky berry colour. I would definitely get a lot of use out of this one. And the last one I have here in the nude set is the Metallic Rose shade. So this one has a lot of glitter in it, like pinky, bluey, silver glitters all through it. The other ones were all cream finishes, I forgot to say. This one is super, super metallic, obviously, as the name suggests. It's super, like... I don't know how to describe it. It almost makes your lips look really plump because of the like shimmer in it. It makes your lips look bigger. If that's your kind of thing, then go ahead. But on me, I just don't really... I don't know. I'm not really phased over it. Next up, we will do the Pastel Corals set. Oh my goodness. This color is so pretty. This one is called Candy Coral and it's like a pinky coral color. Really, really bright as well. Oh my goodness, I love this. This would suit so many different skin tones as well. Even like super tan and dark skin tones would look so vibrant and just pop on your skin tone. And this would look amazing on super fair people as well as like a really bright pop of colour. Or, you know, if you're my kind of skin tone or anything in between, it's gonna look good. I love it. Oh my goodness, it's so pretty. Holy crap, <laughs> this colour is so amazing. I don't know if I'm gonna like it on my lips, but just looking at it in the tube is so pretty. This is called Sunset Strip. Let me show you a close up. Can you see how cool that is? It is so reflective and glittery and just amazing. It's like a orangey coral kind of color, duh, with a gold and orange reflect to it. I don't know how it's going to look on my lips, but I like it in the tube. <laughs> oh, that's so weird. It's almost like just a glitter when you apply it. Definitely do not like it by itself, but there you go. That's what it looks like. Oh, this one looks pretty. This is Maui. 
So that is how Maui looks. It's kind of like a candy rose pink color. It's super pretty. It's actually really wearable as well. Like it's bright, but it's still wearable. Next up is Melon and this one looks amazing as well. I love this shade. Oh my gosh. So that's how that looks. This would look so pretty on top of any orange lipstick. It's quite a creamy kind of color. I really like it. Perfect for spring as well. This one here is called Papaya. The darker these colors go as well, the more pigmented they are. This color is so pretty. It is so much like more intense and darker than I thought it would be as well, but in a good way. Like I love the way this one looks. You're gonna get sick of me going, I love this. And then the last pastel coral we have is Flame. This one is more yellowy orange than the last one. Oh my gosh, it's like more orange and a lip gloss. I love it. I love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Take a shot every time I say love. I dare you. No, don't, you'll probably die. <laughs> this color is really awesome too. Don't know really what to say about it. Okay, next we're gonna go in with retros, which I have no idea what retros means, but let's do it. First up is the shade Gilded, and this just looks like a metallic golden lip gloss. I can already tell I'm not gonna like this, but that's just me. Personal preference, you guys. It's totally fine to have personal preference. If you like this kind of lipstick, you go girl. That's what it looks like. Yeah, not really for me for an everyday kind of color. Next up, oh my goodness, this looks amazing. This is called Neon Orange. Look at this. Okay, it's not showing up as epic as it looks in real life on the camera. Love it. Oh my goodness. Kind of looks like that orangey. Is it My Beautiful Rocket? I think it's My Beautiful Rocket by um, Lime Crime. It kind of looks like that, but in a lip gloss. This one is a really weird name. <laughs> This is Neon Carnival, whatever that means, okay. Kind of like a neutral pink, but quite bright and neon, obviously, according to the name. That's how that one looks, it's actually really pretty. It's kind of like a really dark, bright pink. I don't really think it's neon, like the name suggests, but it's definitely bright. Next up we have Hibiscus. That's how that one looks. I feel like I probably prefer this one to the last one because it's a little bit more red. It's kind of like a muted red pink. The next shade is called um, Neon Apple. <laughs> Cute name. Oh, love this for a red. It's like a snow white red. I love it. It's so pretty. And then the last one here is called Socialite. This one's more of like a berry red. Yep, Shannon's at it again with her awesome descriptions of colours. That was an awful application. So that one's a little bit deeper than the last shade. Really pretty as well. Okay, next I'm gonna do pinks. Good old pinks. Everyone loves a good pink, right? How many of you guys out there don't wear pink on your lips? I'd love to know, because I know some people hate it, but I don't know, that's such a weird concept to me. The first one is called Candy. I feel like I'm gonna like this. Yep, I'm gonna like it. <laughs> this color is totally me. I love it. Next up, we have a Dollhouse. Cute name as well. Oh, this one's really cool. It's like a dark, not dark, uh, pinky, purpley, pink. Darker pink? I don't know. Okay, when I first looked at this, I didn't think I'd like it that much, but I actually love it. Like, this is like one of my favorites. Buy this. Buy this one. This one's super bright. It's called Barbie Pink. Gotta love it. So, that is Barbie Pink. It's kind of like a fuchsia pink. Wait, is it? No, it's not a fuchsia pink. I think the next one is a fuchsia pink. F fuchsia. 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 Oh my goodness, okay, this is not fuchsia. I thought it was gonna be looking at the little swatch on the box, but this is called Weekend Barbie. Um, it's similar to the last shade, except it's got a ton of glitter in it. Not really my cup of tea, but if you like it, then cool. Maybe this one will be a fuchsia pink. Yay, it is. Okay, this one is called Rio. I don't know what I've done to my looks, but they look really lopsided. So yeah, that one's just a fuchsia pink. I love fuchsia pinks. I just think they look really cool, really bright, really fun. The last pink one is called Petal. Oh, I'm going for the Kylie Jenner look. Duh. And that is what Petal looks like. This one doesn't really phase me that much, but it's pretty, but I just, I don't know. I feel like it's not that special. What do you guys think? Do you like it or do you not? Next, we're going to do berries and reds. This one here is called Runway Red. It's a red with glitter in it. Definitely love this one. That's Runway Red. It's kind of like a slightly orangey red, like a really warm red. Next, it's called Punchy Red. Super pretty again, just a nice standard red. 
would go with basically any red lipstick that you have just to make it nice and glossy on top okay next we have date night oh my goodness okay this one is so metallic you can already see it from there <laughs> it on I don't mind it so much don't judge a lip gloss from its cover okay yeah I don't mind that at all next we have vamp and this is a oh I can't open there we go this is a darker kind of like brownish is it brown let me see it's kind of like a brown berry like a hybrid of the two love it super pretty I love browns and anything like a brown berry colors are good Browns are good. This is good. I like it. And then the last one we have is Bordeaux. Is that how you pronounce this? Bordeaux. Okay, I know it's not Bordeaux. I think it's Bordeaux, hopefully. Okay, this one is like similar except a little bit more red, I think. So that is that one. Ta -da. Again, super pretty. Um, yep. <laughs> and then, hallelujah. This is the last box. This is the purple set. This first one here is called Black Cherry. I feel like this color would be Max Smoked Purple's sister or something. If you love dark, vampy, dark, dark, bold lips, you will like it. Next is Venom and this is another metallic glittery color. So that is Venom. Next we have, oh, I almost dropped it. Next we have Purple Rain and this is a glittery purple, like a real bluish Barney purple. It's like Barney, definitely a Barney purple. This is definitely unique. <laughs> kind of makes my teeth look yellow. Bummer. Damn, this was gonna be like my new everyday lipstick. We're almost at the end guys. This one here is called um, Electro and this is a purple with glitter in it again. This one's kind of like a pinky purple. It's actually quite cool. It's almost like a duochrome effect. And the last one is called Orchid. Okay, this one is a cream finish and it's like a, a lavender, no, not lavender. Lavender or lilac? What's the difference? I'm having a brain block. I'm seeing too many colors. There's just so many different, different shades. Okay, let's have a look at this. This is such a flattering shade of purple. I just feel like it really brightens up my face. And I feel like it would look amazing on top of Up The Amp by MAC. So there you have it. That's all of them. Let me know what your favorite shade down below is. I think my two favorites would be Candy and Dollhouse. These two here. I'm actually quite impressed considering how many shades there were. I thought there would be a lot more that I didn't like. But I did actually end up liking most of them. Hopefully this video helped you out. And hopefully you found one that you like as well. And yeah, I will talk to you really soon. Bye. I put a little bit underneath my lash line as well and that is the completed look. I love this look so freaking much. It might just be one of my favorite tutorials I have 